forget them. So, uh, most importantly, man, we, we come in here with the win instead of the score. Going in there and it being 20 to 23. Um, we come out with the win, so that's that's all we go for. The offensive line, honestly, did a great job all night. It was he had time to throw. Um, I got to go back and watch the film to see everything, but I felt like uh, we put a game together. I don't think it was my very best game, but we got the win, and that's all that matters. Well, what a difference a week makes. Those New York headline writers. Those bandwagoners. Pretty sure they retired Eli earlier this season. Now he's still they, they the man. They tried to bury him. Yeah. Holy moly. Sean wow. O'Hara, their uh, first win the post? since yeah. September. All right, I see. Get in your digs. It's cool. You you guys won. Uh, how did how What was different? I thought the pocket was cleaner. You heard Odell talk about that. I, I thought the, the offense... They, they established Saquon earlier on, and I thought that was a big mm -hmm. difference. It helped the offensive line be physical. It helped Jamon Brown, who was kind of making his first start at right guard. It really kind of helped them get a little cohesion. But that, that protection allowed Eli to settle down a little bit and make some throws. Now, he still missed a couple throws, but he also had a couple drops as well. Mm -hmm. But the clutch throw was right there. The touchdown throw right there was a nice yeah. pickup by the offensive line. They passed off a twist. This one, this was the do-over. Yes. He overthrew him before <laughs> that, but he came right back and made a big throw. The big one on the wheel route to Evan Ingram on the sideline, he caught it. He's had some drops this year, too. Yeah. But this play right here I thought was a big throw because mm -hmm. you couldn't see it from that angle. But Eli had somebody bearing right down on him. So, those yeah. throws right there, I mean, they're just stacking the confidence bricks right there. And yeah. I think sometimes momentum is a big thing. And I think w you saw Eli start to get some momentum. This offense started to get it. And I think both sides of the ball really started to, to, to feel that swagger kind of come back. Yeah, this is a game that totally could have gone the other way, though. Absolutely, Let's be clear. Yeah. This came they right down help, to the sure. final for seconds. Sure. They got some help from the San Francisco defense, which mm -hmm. had some penalties on that final game-winning drive for the Giants. And then Nick Mullins was firing it on that final yes. drive, but just wasn't able find Peter. But you said they got some help, right? And they got some help from yeah. the two turnovers that Nick Mullins had. And I thought Nick Mullins actually played great. I thought he actually played outplayed Eli Manning. I know they weren't going against head-to-head -to -head against each other, but I thought he played really well, especially in this offensive system. And then you see Matt Burita right here. I can't say enough about the job that Matt Burita has been doing in this Kyle Shanahan offensive system. He's got a burst. I mean, he's got a burst. He's slippery. He runs tough, and he can outrun you. And I love everything about what Kyle Shanahan is bringing to this team because you see players like George Kittle right there, Nick Mullins, they're just thriving in this offensive system. This is the same offensive system that his dad used to run in Denver that I fell in love with that yeah. I kind of wish I could have played in this offense that I never got a chance to, but, I mean, Tatum, ba Tatum Bell ran for 1,000 yards. Ruben Drones ran for 1,000 yards. Clinton Portis, Landis Gary, Mike Anderson did it twice. And, and you just see how these players are playing well and thriving in the offense, and I just, I just love watching them. Interesting twist in this one. The next opponent for both of these teams is the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Yeah. The Giants have them this week. The Niners have a bye and mm -hmm. then travel to Tampa Bay in week 12. Time now to take a look at this week's Fed X Air and Ground nominees. Let's start with the air. Pittsburgh quarterback Ben Roethlisberger completing 22 of 25 attempts for 328 yards, five touchdowns, and a passer rating of 158.3. And the Steelers 52 to 21 beat down. Over those Carolina Panthers, Mitchell Trubisky, he was balling as well. 148.6 passer rating. And Jared Goff, 39 attempts, 28 completions. The Rams getting a close shave of a win over the Seahawks. So, Reggie Wayne, who's getting top honors this week for you, my man? Mitchell Trubisky, come on down. You're my guy. Listen, money-making Mitch. You saw what he did to division opponent Detroit Lions? He just lit him up 20 of 30, 355 yards passing and three touchdowns. A lot of people are not talking about these Chicago Bears, but they're sliding under the radar, starting with Mitchell Trubisky. Cole? All right, that's through the air. How about we hit the ground? And Nick Chubb, he did that. He hit the ground running 176 yards. And Aaron Jones, 145 yards on 15 attempts. And uh, MJD last week said feeds Zeke, the Cowboys did that. 19 attempts, and the Cowboys got a win over the Eagles. So, Reggie, who's coming for your number one spot this week? You know what? Aaron Jones is my FedEx Ground Player of the Week. You know, I'm so used to seeing Aaron Rodgers highlights for the Green Bay Packers that it was almost weird to see Aaron Jones, the running back, scoring touchdowns and making plays for the Green Bay Packers. But that's exactly what he's been doing over the last couple of weeks, making the most of his opportunities. He averaged almost 10 yards a carry against the Miami Dolphins. The running game has been an area of weakness for the Green Bay Packers for a long time now. Green Bay, let's not overthink this one. 
Feed Aaron Jones, give Aaron Rodgers a balance attack, and you'll get back to the top of the division. Back to you, Cole. Mm, thank you, Reggie. Now vote now until 3 o'clock Eastern time on Thursday over at NFL.com slash FedEx. For all your favorites, guess what we're going to do? We're going to reveal the winner on Total Access right after Thursday Night Football. So make your voice heard and make it heard off. Now, Reggie Wayne played over 